Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jury Rig Garage. I'm Davis. This is Tristan here. Today we're going to be continuing with rebuilding Tristan's Tahoe. Yeah. We got a new built motor over here. It's got a torque cam, some BTR valve springs, basically just a stock 5.3. But today we're going to be continuing with the swap. You want to tell us where we left off here? Yeah, so we took all the accessories off the front of the engine, took the crank pulley off, basically moved the AC and power steering out of the way because uh, that's staying with the car. And so we left it at that with uh, most of the electrical plugs unplugged. Of course, the stuff on the bottom of the engine still needs unplugged, but everything else is still bolted to the engine. Engine mounts, uh, transmission, and then converter bolts like are all in it still. We're about to tackle that. <laughs> yeah, we, we um, did crawl under there. And yeah, uh, to suss we, it out. we did get like kind of a general idea of what we're going to be in for. It's not going to be. And uh, I mean, it is a truck, so I feel like it's a little bit easier. Like, I don't know if I'd rather be working on this or like Vince's Trans Am. Yeah, at least everything in the engine bay is probably a lot easier to get to in the truck. Um, bell housing bolts, who knows? Yeah, I did check on like the top of the motor to see the back. It looks like one of the bell housing bolts is missing. There's another one that's in. And then the other ones, they look kind of okay to get to. There's only one I'm concerned with is on the driver's side lower down there. It's like right next to the firewall. Yeah. So I don't know about that one. There really is not a lot of room to get to stuff on the bottom of the engine. Like it, it's engine bay room is great. Underneath the car, it's, it's pretty hard. It, it's really packed in there with the transfer case. You know, you got the sway bar, you got the steering rack, you got literally two frames yeah frame bars coming coming through and it it, it kind of sucks i feel like if this wasn't the four-wheel drive it we'd have way more room to like access things Guaranteed. on the bottom i mean like we had trouble with one bolt for 40 minutes without yeah, without that four-wheel drive easy what are we going to be tackling first i gotta get the starter wires off of it yeah um, so we gotta start unplugging the electronics off take the hood off and then we also have through the wheel well some access and just under the car uh, not so much on this side. No. It's really hard to see, but the well, exhaust is right there. We can take the, the fender liner off. Oh, and yeah. Honestly, that's what if, we need to do. if you're working on this engine, like kind of in general with like spark plugs or anything in the side of the engine, honestly, just go ahead, put it on jack stands, take the wheel liners off because yeah. it, like, if you come to this side, yeah, the other you side's see off. so much. Literally, yeah. spark plugs are easy when you, you do get it that right way. In there. We're going to be having to take off the downpipe here. So three bolts, and hopefully the, it'll come off easily, but they look pretty rusty. This is a, ca a Canadian car. The third bolt, like, behind on the other side of the flange, uh, that's going to be kind of difficult to get to. Yeah. But uh, there's, there's so much stuff at the bottom of the engine, it's hard to come up with, like, a socket. We're going to have to figure that out as we, uh, as we go. We're basically just kind of learning it all as we do it. So I just found out that, that we do have air ride shocks on this thing. And um, well, yeah, they have as, like electronic connectors on the top. As, as you can see, they're just not really doing all that well. It's and stealthy. They don't, they don't feel like they actually do anything. <laughs> yeah, if you so. choose to keep the car and not sell it, I, I think replacing the suspension would be in order. Yeah, I think so. Um, and the donkers. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That too. Just get some new Tahoe wheels. Like I saw a set for 600 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. See now the new- And they're 18s, they look nice. The newer, see that that's the problem is like, I wanted to go with 20s really bad cause that's what the car originally had. But at this point, like I think I might throw 18s on it if I keep it yeah. because there's there's almost no 20 inch the, or 20 inch options for that that look good that are not yeah. so expensive. The the tire options too with 18s are really good too. Yep. You can get you know it'll be way comfier of a ride. Yeah, instead of like actual just street tires. Yeah, th those kind of tires shouldn't be on a Tahoe. That should be on like any other car. Well, anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and start working on this now that we have access to the side of the motor. We're going to take the fender liner off the other side, take the hood off, and just start cranking away. Order of operation, we're just going to take off the electronics, then start on the exhaust, bell housing bolts, torque converter bolts, motor mount, and there we go. And that's hopefully it. So, as simple as that, right? As simple. Just five hours later. Yep. All right, guys, we're back. I can already tell this is going to be a long process doing all this. You know, it's all new to us. One of the, you know, every single step is new to us. So right oh. now I'm working on taking the exhaust downpipe off. You can see it's smoking because I've been heating it up. Again, this was a Canadian car, so it is, uh, rusty. Not, it's not like riddled with rust, but there, there's some things that, you know, naturally just get rusty that are going to be rusty and hard to get off. So thankfully that with enough heat and penetrating fluid, it was able to unbolt. I was not able to take off the O2 sensor, but that's just because my wrench isn't long enough. If I, the only way I can get it on is through the bottom and my hands hitting the frame rail and there's just not enough, not enough leverage. So we're just going to take it off this way. It, 
you know, a little bit slower than taking off the O2 and then getting a socket on there, but gotta do what we gotta do. Tristan's under here doing, uh, yeah, taking some of the wire off the bottom connectors of the on the bottom of the motor. Getting yeah, he's that just off. been just taking off all the electronics. The starter's disconnected, the oil sensor on the side, the knock sensor, and he's just working on some of the last parts there, but. Uh, doesn't he just look comfortable in that position? Uh, it's so claustrophobic. So guys, this is just going to be a short process, or I guess long process. It's not going to be short. It's going to be the opposite. Yeah. So we'll be doing some cuts and uh, yeah, I might set up a time lapse or something, but it's a lot of work and we're in the tedious section now. Hey guys, we're back. Yep, we uh you probably saw in the time lapse that we were struggling a little bit. We had been yeah. like, you know, in this area working and reason being, I successfully got this nut off and then immediately the next one it just stripped. Like, I mean, I even got the the tool on there well, but it just stripped, man. I also, those know. cats make it really convenient to get a tool on there, like very convenient. Oh, super convenient. Um, we had to mess with uh I don't know where it is. Yeah, my swivel socket with some tape. We even have, use our extractor bits and they just can't get on there. They're not deep enough, I don't think. Yeah, so like the stud on the manifold is, uh, or on the downpipe is preventing it to, from going all the way. But even then, like the, the bolt is so rounded at this point that we, it's... We really got a good grip on it with the ratcheting wrench here. Like I got the boxed end, which 12 point, like really good on there. I got the uh, 21 mil to like give me some extra leverage yep. and it was fully on there and it just stripped the nut like yeah like uh, we were seeing the 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 exhaust flexing and then he goes to turn it and well I can see the nuts not turning with yep, it exactly and now it's toast and then so next step is you know the studs have a little bit on the end like seven mil mm -hmm. and so you could like there are studs they're not just like yeah. bolted in or whatever so there we had that second option so well put a socket on that instantly rounded just just with the the ratcheting wrench and believe us guys we held the torch on there as long as we could we were hearing it cracking and popping and it didn't seem to help yeah like uh we're thinking about going to get a hotter torch uh from my house but uh um, that won't help us with this one not going to help us with that one we have a few options that me and Davis have discussed off camera and we want to discuss it here. So we have a couple options. First off, if we want to retain this whole exhaust, we can try taking the exhaust manifold off this side, go and attempt to take the other downpipe off because, you know, we got downpipes on both sides. Hope that that doesn't strip. And then on under the car, unbolt the uh, Y pipe where it collects over there, take what? off the brace, and then hopefully be able to snake off this side with the exhaust manifold connected and the other side just with the cat, but disconnected, snake it down and out, which I don't even have much hope of because we have our motor mounts here. We maybe still have to do that. There's so much for it to get hook, hooked on. Like this O2 sensor, we tried, we can't get it off. It would hit the frame. The exhaust manifold would just hit the frame. There's not a lot of clearance under the car to maneuver the exhaust left or right. And that, and with it being a Y pipe, the other side's connected, it might get caught up on things. And at this point, that is the only way we can think to actually keep this down pipe intact. And we don't know if it's gonna be possible. That's if the manifold comes off really nicely, you know? I mean, if the bolts break, you know, to where the heads break off, you know, the manifold can still come off, but there's a lot to catch on the car. You know, you there's a brace underneath that he, uh, like a cross member. Um, it's got a lot of bolts in there. We'd have to take that off completely and to have even a chance to get that thing snaked through. And that's if the other down pipe actually unbolts nicely yeah. because the other side has even less room than this side does. And so we just can't see the, uh, the, the manifold actually being able to come out of the engine bay like that. And so uh, that's that's option number one. Option number two, you yeah. saw it right there. Yeah, the uh, we just cut it. So I have, I can't get the angle grinder in here, but we have a carbide tipped uh, cutoff blade. We could just cut off the uh, down pipe right here. A lot of people do this when they pull motors from trucks. Like you, Makes if sense. you ever buy like a motor off Facebook Marketplace, they'll always just be cut there. They won't even try to go for the flange, you know, unbolting it, they'll just cut it. We can do this. We can take the stock Y pipe off and either replace it with a one-off Rock Auto with cats, or we can go and buy a off-road 
Catless Y pipe, which Speed is cheaper. Speed engineering kit, which uh, it's like $155 for, for that. That is tempting. What I like about it is if I keep the car or if I sell it, it's going to, either way, it's gonna be like a good, if anyone needs to do maintenance on this car, like it's gonna unbolt nicely. It's not going to be like this. Also the Speed engineering kit has many different points where it clamps together yeah. to where it's not just one solid piece like this downpipe is. So like if you had to do maybe some of the stuff we're doing it now, we could just unclamp Part of it and then it would be come out yeah. easy gm did not design this exhaust to be able to take it out with like the headers and can and the white pipe connected you'd unbolt the white pipe from it remove them separately is, at least that's my understanding so the yeah. idea of pulling everything out is one you know hoping that might work it i don't see it happening yeah um and then there's also like these headers are gross and crusty and we'd have to reuse them possibly breaking off bolts in the head so that's another option is just buy new exhaust manifold stock or headers you know yeah because like we know that the the engine can come out with the manifolds so we looked and it's like 60 bucks off of rock auto for a nice replacement per side and so i'm heavily considering that because those nasty crusty ones like and then I, we would still have to try to extract it and it'll be easier outside the car but we'd still have to extract those those nuts you know damn dogs but yeah so personally like you know davis has kind of like talked me into so many times of like while while you're there you yeah. know while you're there you might as well do it so now i kind of have like that mindset so regardless of what i'm going to do with this car it's almost like i might as well just replace these things with new so that if we ever need to do work on it, it it's going to be not busting bolts it's going to be like no it'll mm -hmm. just unbolt like or, normal or if you're trying to sell it and it's some a people point, will maybe. you know see how there's some exterior rust or whatever it's a good sign that you're like yeah we replaced the entire exhaust yeah or at least the you know like the downpipe and and manifold yeah because i mean new engine partially new exhaust like that that's a good sign you know like good I, sound point. I, I would like that you know if i were buying a car that's just an idea um the manifolds being like 60 bucks per side and then the y pipe specifically being like 150 it's more money than i wanted to spend because i didn't actually intend for any of this like i just didn't really see this yeah. happening because i wasn't prepared for it but i should have been so honestly not the end of the world i mean it's like three 350 bucks after shipping probably yeah with everything that is only like you know a couple feet of exhaust not not you know all the way back but still i think that that might be where i go with this because it it kind of just makes more sense but anyways uh so we've reached a point to where we have to make this decision before we continue because it's the thing holding us up i think i'm gonna have davis cut the exhaust because i see no reason in and messing with it any further if we can pull the exhaust off i feel like that'll be a good next step and then once that's off we'll be able to start at the bell housing bolts and you know just get on with our lives i gotta say the one thing i hate the most is to get something off your car if you have to cut something, yeah. you're doing it wrong. Yep. And I hate that. Probably the thing I hate most about working on a car. If that's what you need to do, you're fucking up. But in this case, don't have a lot of options. So yeah, yeah. I I'm gonna have Davis cut it. Look at the pros guys, it's getting a new exhaust. Like just, yeah. just, just put it that way. Yeah, I mean, I like the sound of that. Yeah. That's your update on this guys. Uh, we're probably gonna get to work with cutting that. We might go get a torch and lunch. Um, we might not. We'll figure it out. Yep, but that's our next step. I might find a longer blade. Well, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start this. I'll probably just try to get this O2 out of the way so I don't damage it and yep, we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back from the parts store. We got some of these Milwaukee Wrecker nitrous carbide blades or nine inches. The ones we're using, I thought were five, but they're actually six. So we want to buy another six inch. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this package real quick. Right. Gotta use the Sawzall to open up the Sawzall blade packaging. Yep, exactly. So this should do us way better because we are having issues where the shorter blades would only get like partly into the pipe and then it would hit the back side of it and just bend them. So when you're doing this, I'd recommend getting longer than six inch blade, you know? Hopefully you're not in the same situation as us, but uh, I mean, if your car looks like ours and is the age as ours, it, you might be. Because no. realistically, I mean, like that's it, way better. That is way better. It's not just because it's a Canadian car, right? Like, fuck, any any exhaust could be like this. Yep. I mean, Isaiah's was. So let's see if we can actually get through this now. We got most of the way through, but again, our problem was it was getting caught up 
inside there, so. Woo! Got hot. That did get hot. Good thing we bought two. Yep. Yep, we're just causing more expense and pain for us, but you know. Like, yeah. I wonder how it, like, it didn't cut through it. We just dinged it or something. I don't know. Yeah, we won't be able to see the damage until the, the cat's gone. Yep. So yeah, it hurts to show such amateur work, guys, but you know. What's the name of this channel? True. It's you know? Jerry Rig. We're being true to our name. I mean, besides not cutting that, I, I don't see another way what we could have done instead. I've been more so, careful with the lines, but. Yeah. Well, I could uh, buy stock replacements or we could do A and lines, something like that. Regrettable, but um, oh well. Well, let's check out the other side, see if there's even access easily accessible if we should try with the nut and bolt first. Because this might be five minutes. We'll just get this unbolt, like this harness out of the way yeah. and then. Which we can unbolt it and zip tie it, do whatever, bungee cord it out of the way. And then be able to get this in. Yeah, you can see yeah. it in here, but I feel like I have a straight shot just straight through the bottom right there. Yeah. I'll just avoid these lines. This is kind of the only. Yeah, the brake lines. I don't want to hit would, those. Yeah, you definitely don't want to hit those. That would suck ass. Um. Not a lot of room on this side, though. Yeah. All right, on we're going to start pulling these, the harness and stuff out of the way, and then we're going to just, you know, do what Drury Rig Garage does. I'm like a freaking ninja with this thing. I just ching, cut that thing perfectly. This side actually went way better than, no than the other No transmission lines to get caught up on. So as you can see, honestly, it, it, it went cut. It, you can it went to that. It, it, honestly. And then also, um, you know, the exhaust fell as because, you know, it's Disconnected got the now. weight hanging on it it's disconnected so we could just unbolt it from the rear and get those out of the way so we can reach the bell housing can, bolts i can actually reach it from the side here now so yeah now we got all the all the room that we need hell yeah but uh now that we've done it i feel a lot better about the decision to cut this i mean it's tristan's car whatever who cares what i think <laughs> but at least i think this was the right choice because just new new exhaust manifolds just new exhaust down pipe we won't have to deal with any, all this you know uh rusty rusty crap we can buy stainless hardware and whoever gets the car next or if tristan decides to keep it maintenance for taking it off will be way easier yeah so we're not in danger of being in the situation again where sh maybe the car's down and he needs to drive it and yeah so it's broken or something you know i think i think honestly um the lighting is terrible um with uh what we were given i i think that this is a good solution because um th th those exhaust bolts were probably just gonna be the exact same you know we're gonna have the same situation wasting our time on nothing and so i think that yeah. davis is right i think this was honestly just the kind of best the best course of action that we really had the milwaukee nitrous carbide perfect it did good i mean it cut especially so the other one if you're a really meth head well. and you want to you know cut cats off of a car get an electric milwaukee and then get those nitrous blades and easy yeah easy honestly money. yeah you you and you know copper piping yeah you, you out of homes you know yeah. just buying an abandoned you know, home everything okay so the blade did get the top of these lines so i can that must be where uh, it's leaking from because they didn't go all the way through. It just, oh yeah, uh, it, it's I think just one of them actually because I feel a big uh, gash in it uh -huh. where it was cut. The other one has scrapes but no gashes, so I think you only cut through the one. Well, also if you look at these, these lines were old and crusty, and I had cleaned them off, and you can see they were, they were these trans lines were leaking even up front. So you know, let's just think of it positive, just like we're thinking of the exhaust. You know, new trans lines. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and maybe just pull the exhaust out and reassess where we're at. And yeah, and when that takes care of the exhaust, that's actually one checklist part down. You know, once the exhaust is out, all we have left is the left is a bell housing bolts, a torque converter, and motor mounts, and we're good to go. And we just happen to make very easy and clear access. Well, probably not that much, but we gave ourselves a little bit more access with uh, cutting the exhaust out. So that's a win right there. All right, guys, we're under the car. You can see the motors up there, transmission. Now we have all this room to get to the transmission lines. We took off that dust shield. You can see all the dirt that I collected there over time. Definitely gonna have to clean that up. 
but we have access to the lines there to replace them because I did nick one by accident. So we could either at this point here just convert it to hard line and AN, but it might just be easier to buy a new replacement like lines. Plus they were kind of cruddy up at the top or up the front of the car where it touched or connected the radiator it was not great, but we have access there. And then additionally bell housing bolts. So there's bottom one, we get all the way up to the top one. And then the last remaining ones at the very top of the motor. We just do from the top. With that, I think cutting the exhaust was a good option. And I mean, it might not be everybody's preferred method or even our preferred method. We would rather unbolted it. it, but it is what it is. All right, guys, we're trying to take the motor mounts off right here. Or I guess not even that. We're just trying to get the, the hard ones out first and leave the easy ones for last. Order of operation, we want to take out the bell housing bolts and torque converter bolts first before we do the motor mounts. But we're just testing the waters here. And man, this bolt takes like so many extensions. Okay, I hope the guy that comes out. You bitch. Oh, oh. Yeah? It's actually out, I think. Let me try and remove it. Yep, I got it. Okay, well. Oot. Wow. Hell yeah. It was literally difficult until the very end. Yep, I wonder why that is. is the threads look okay. Whew. But yeah, as you can see, guys, or maybe not, there are the two easily visible bolts. And then there's one that's behind there. It, you can get to it as long as everything's out of the way. You're stripped down to this level. If you're like just replacing the motor mounts on your stock car, you haven't taken anything else apart, there's probably way more steps. I think this had Loctite on it. The other one did. I saw it was oh. like a red ring of Loctite. Yep. Convenient. I don't know if we have enough time to work on the bell housing or torque converter bolts because we messed around with the exhaust for so long. But Yeah, that took us. But now we absolutely know that it will be, well, I guess I can't say it will be, I can't have any definites, but it appears that we're gonna have no problems getting to the bell housing bolts. I looked and they're just all accessible. The other two are at the very top. And as you can see, Tristan's in the end bay. It'll yeah. just be as easy as standing on that and then getting to it. All the bell housing bolts will be easy to get to. The torque converter bolts, there's only three. It's super easy and accessible to get to those. And then we have just two easy bolts on this side and the other side, and it's ready to come out. Yeah, and uh, while we're while we're here, I uh, I looked up the transmission cooler lines, and they're only like uh, ten to twenty bucks a piece. So yeah. that'll just that's a simple thing. And it'll be know. nice to have new lines because these lines. We're cruddy, guys. You can kind of see down yeah, there. They're, they're just covered in sludge. Everything's cruddy in here because all the oil that was dripping from somewhere, the, the passenger side of the engine's just covered. <sighs> but yeah, everything's been fighting us. Yep. Just like every time. It's the last 10%. Car. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Right. Yep. But we have this exhaust off too. Another, like if we're looking on the bright side, this stuff's really heavy, especially with the cats. So for the off-road Y pipe, it'll save some weight. And it'll just be more clearance for everything too. Yeah, more free flowing exhaust at that too. So I mean, help the towing, help sure that can is. breathe. Yeah, and and the fact is like, who if those are original to the car, they got two hundred thousand miles on them. Yeah, probably not the best at this point. So yep, and like with how much it's pipe, you know? with how much it's been misfiring too, it could have actually damaged those cats and clogged them up a little bit. Oh yeah, I didn't actually think about it because like uh, could have gotten very hot and all the all the, the explosions and smoke pops. through that. All wow. the, the 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 exhaust just letting the fuel dump out. Both of those could have damaged it too or yep. clogged them up. So so it's actually kind of for the better that, yeah, that maybe we're we should run some water through it and see how dark it is. I'd be down. Um, once we get the motor out, I'd be curious to see what the uh, the oil filter looks like because like if you we'll don't cut it open. if you don't know uh, if you got a sticky lifter, that cam is still riding on it, and so it will wipe out the cam and the lifter, and that's just. Uh, oil or that's just metal in the oil so yep. you know I'm curious to see what and that looks like as you guys saw we did run this with zero oil pressure at some time so the one time yeah the one time well I would hope because it never happened to me it was only oh, like really? that one time we Dang. drove it yeah like wow. it, I mean of course it was low yeah not like zero yeah not where it's like shut we off the car please we still also actually have to drain the oil yeah we do yeah, guys, but anyways, we're, you know, we made some good progress. It might not have seemed like it, but we actually tackled some big items like the exhaust and uh, the wiring below, and we assessed the motor mount, so we have a plan for it. Yeah, I mean, like, no matter what, us having all this trouble, we're going to have trouble either way, so it was, no matter what, it's going to slow us down. Yep. So it just pushed the timeline a little bit back. That's kind of like every time. Yeah, I was thinking we were going to be able to pull the motor today. I was thinking that too. Yep. And, uh, no. That's fine. Nope. Ain't too worried about it. It's all work in progress, so. Yep.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'm actually recording this months in the future because we never actually recorded an outro for the video you just watched, but that's just fine. We're in the future now. We have some new parts. We got the new exhaust manifolds. Tristan has a full new exhaust. He ended up purchasing a kit off of Rock Auto. It's just a normal Y pipe with uh, normal catalytic converters. They'll just be easier if he decides to sell the car, if it includes cats, or if he just wants to keep it, if he needs to go through any type of inspections. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. You can also join us as a member down below and you get early access to our new videos. If we have a new video out, you can watch that right now. Uh, but again, thanks a lot for, you know, watching, taking time to watch the video. Thanks to all the new viewers. We'll see you next time.